hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when adobe photoshop 2025 is not opening on your windows computer now the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to end adobe services in task manager so make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager and if you see any adobe services running for example here you can see creative cloud you can end the task now over here i can see adobe content synchronizer you can end the task acrobat and all the adobe services now once you close all the adobe services now you can check now you can launch it and then check it's still not working the next step is to run photoshop as an administrator so now for this you can just type in adobe photoshop 2025 in windows search box and then make a right click on adobe photoshop 2025 and then click on run as administrator make sure that you click on run as administrator and then check still not working then you can uh, try this now for this you can type in adobe photoshop in windows search box and then make a right click on adobe photoshop and then click on open file location and then here you can see adobe photoshop 2025 make a right click and then go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program over here and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch it still not working again go to properties and then this time put a check on the box uh, over here and then select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok and then check still not working so when you put a check still not working you can uncheck this box and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow photoshop to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the allow the photoshop to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security in windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation uh, sorry go to the installation folder adobe installation folder so open c drive then open program files and now open the adobe folder now select adobe photoshop 2025 then click on open and again scroll down over here you will see photoshop and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel and then click on system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings and then click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the installation location program files adobe adobe photoshop 2025 open and then scroll down and find the photoshop over here and then click on open now click on add once it is added now you can check still not working the next step is to check for updates and update photoshop now for this open adobe creative cloud now once adobe creative cloud is open go to apps now once you go to apps here you can see photoshop now if you see update option over here click on update or you will see update option over here or in front of photoshop you will see update option or you can click on three dots and then click on update so if you see update option highlighted over here you can click on view updates and update update all or you will see update option over here after the update you can launch it and then check next step is to run adobe photoshop on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings 
and now click on add desktop app and then again go to the adobe folder select adobe photoshop click on add again scroll down select photoshop and then click on add once it is added now click on this down arrow and then over here you can see gpu preference set it to high performance and you will see your graphic card and now you can check next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer now intel users can use intel driver support assistant to update drivers now for this you can just type in intel intel driver and support assistant in google search and then you can go to intel website and then click on download now and then you can run this exe file now agree and then click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now once installed you will see a launch option hit launch now once you hit launch if there is any update it will let you know the updates over here and then you can click on download all and then you will see install all once the download is complete you will see install button hit install all and then make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 scroll down download x86 and x64 so download both the files click on x86 first and then you can run this exe file now once the download is complete you can run both the exe files so run x86 file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install button hit install click on yes to allow and then download this x64 file as well and then run this x64 file and if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once complete make sure that you restart you can be restart is must after this and after the system restart you can launch photoshop still not working the next step is to try older version of photoshop now for this you can go to adobe creative cloud and then go to apps and then you will see photoshop click on these three dots and then click on other version and you can try to install older version you can try to install and check which one is working fine for you so try installing the older version and then check still not working the next step is to the last step is to uninstall and reinstall photoshop now for this you can simply uninstall it now after the uninstall is complete restart your computer and after the system restart you can open adobe creative cloud and then you will see the install button to install photoshop and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch adobe photoshop successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel